At the conclusion of part one of this video, we'd arrived at the junction of Church Street and the A4, right opposite the Town Hall. Turn left in front of the Town Hall towards the river. Take the inner path along the wharf with the river on your left. There's a ramp down this path for wheelchair and similar users. This path leads you to Marden House. This was once the home of the Wharfinger. Now the Wharfinger was an official who managed the canal traffic. The building is now a very popular community centre. Turn to go over the bridge. Look left along the wharf. This was the very end of the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal. Just imagine it with barges busy with going about their business. They went right up to the town hall. This location was the town mill in those days. At the end turn right. Now note the old water pump. Walk further on following the river, bearing right into Station Road. Cross the river again via the two bridges. This leads you into Castlefield Park. Carn Town Lock was on the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal. This was all part of Carn's industrial past. Situated here is a replica canal boat. It's called the Jubilee Queen. This is very much enjoyed by children. Pass the Jubilee Queen and follow the path to your left until you reach the site of Chavywell Spring on your right. The spring is coming out of the slope and drains into the canal on your left. Note the pig's heads embedded here. These came from the old C&T Harris factory. As the plaque informs us, this was the main source of pure water for Carn residents until the new supply came from Calston. We turn back along the path and take the path on the left, going up a slope to the site of Carn Castle. A large information board can be seen here. This describes the archaeological dig completed a few years ago. For youngsters, this special climbing frame has been installed. Great fun! This low hedge shows the limit of just one part of the castle area. The information board gives full details. At this point we were fortunate to come across several volunteers from CARP. This is the Castlefields Canal and River Park Association, as stated, generally known as CARP. Now leave the park by the path which goes down the slope again. Note these two information plaques on the wall. If you feel the need, you can rest a while on this seat provided. Here again we were fortunate to see the CARP volunteers busy renovating an information display. At the bottom of the slope, turn left.
and ahead you will see the ornate gates at the entrance to the park. Pass through these gates, walk under the arch and along this historic Patford Street. Cross over the road and follow the river in Church Street until you reach a small circular seating area on the left. This has mosaics of the main elements with a plaque of the head of Joseph Priestley right in the centre. Continue following the river until you come to a bridge. There is a plaque on the bridge celebrating the Harris family who developed the bacon factory. The brochure describes three women who played a major part in the history of Harris's. Cross over the bridge and you are back in the pocket park from where we started. We do hope you've enjoyed the walk.